hey my babies welcome back to my channel it's your girl raya j and i'm back with another video in today's video we're going to be discussing what do i feel about mental illness now what is mental illness mental illness to me is someone who deals with a lot of stress someone who deals with anxiety depression someone who deals with bipolar schizophrenic someone who is imperfectly perfect and i say that with pride for real you know because me i'm someone that people everyone right will swear up and down that i have a mental illness right and maybe i do maybe it is the anxiety that i deal with every day every day but me pushing through it every day crying it out figuring it out not letting myself seep back into a form of depression because i'm so anxious because i'm so stressed see i believe mental illness is something that we can control i believe that But you have to want to. I honestly believe that as well. You have to want to push yourself to the levels that you never thought you can you can you can be. You never thought you can excel to the point of where you are today. But if only you look at your life and see, just do me one favor, right? Right. This one second, right? Look back at your past for one second. Damn. <laughs> I don't want to be there again. I do not want to be there again. But I know that I... Shit, I survived it. I survived it. Can we all say that? I survived my past. That's great. That's great. Do you know that you already push through the demons, the depression, the anxiety, and the stress? You already push through it. To so bring yourself to a thought to say, I know I can do this. I know I'm able to be about this. I know I will get here. I am. I, I, I. <coughs> Excuse me. You are claiming it. You're claiming it. You're claiming the conscious mind to be over the subconscious mind. Can we understand that? Because we have a subconscious mind that's down here. But then we have a conscious mind. The subconscious mind tells you, go eat McDonald's. Go eat Chipotle. Your conscious mind comes in when you know you ain't supposed to eat that Chipotle. Because you know you're supposed to be watching your way. You know what I mean? Like, a lot, of, a lot of things, right, for us are mental. They're all in our head, right? So if only we're able to push past that. And, 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 and form, a, form it, form your mind to your words. And after you form your words, you form the actions. This can be for whatever. This can be for changing your life, changing your mental, becoming a better person in general. Change your mind first. Change what you speak next. And then change what you do last. So you got three steps, my babies, to work on. To bring yourself, right, to a place where you're fully happy, peaceful, loving. Your anxiety is not taking control over you. Your depression is not taking control over you. You are not stressed every day. You're bipolar, you're schizophrenic. I know some of you are on medications for these mental illnesses, and that's okay. 
if you need the medicine to keep you at an even average level for your emotions, take it. I personally do not take medicine for my anxiety. Um, I've been tested. I've been tested for mental illnesses my whole life. My mother suffered from bipolar. My sister suffers from bipolar. My other sister suffers from uh, bipolar and schizophrenic. These are things that no one wants to talk about. But I'm going to be the one to talk about it. I'm going to be the one to unchain these things that we have thought it was okay to lock them up in a, in a chain cage and let's throw it away. Let's never talk about it again. We're not supposed to talk about it. No, we are, my babies. We are. We're supposed to talk about anything, anything that makes your heart, anything that makes you get all, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. That is a moment, a moment in history where you will, hopefully you've changed yourself and you're doing work that you want to change the world, you know? You want to help change a movement. Men what is mental? What is the question again? <laughs> Hold on, y'all. What, what do I feel about mental illness? Well, being that I come from a family that a lot of us in our family suffer from, and I say us because the, these are my these are my family, these are my blood, these are my brothers and sisters, inshallah. And um. The reason why I say we is because you are not alone. <laughs> Let me say it again. You're not alone, my baby. Of someone who has thought that I was so fucking weird and so fucked up because I couldn't understand why do I have these emotions. I couldn't understand it. What the fuck is wrong with me? But I went to see many doctors and I said, please just tell me if I'm bipolar. Please just tell me if I'm schizophrenic because I come from a family that we are self-medicating with the marijuana, with, li with liquor, with mollies and all kind of shit. Sex addicts. We are even abusing our kids because we're fucked up. And I'm crying because this, this, this topic really, really makes my heart beat. You know, I just want people to know that you are not alone. I deal with anxiety every day of my life. And even though I do not have bipolar, schizophrenic, you know, and I haven't been in a depression in over a year. Even the, even the most recent uh, tragic uh, uh, moments in my life that have, you know, that have recently happened, I'm not in a depression. So I'm grateful to Allah. Because I know that when I was in a depression, all things were at a standstill. It's like I was fucking stuck. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to be around people. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to fucking eat right, you know? My mind was fucked up. It wasn't healthy. It wasn't, it just wasn't okay for me. So I went on this journey to figure myself out. I asked doctors to give me their best advice when they sit down and they talk to me. And they told me, Mariah, you do not have bipolar or schizophrenic. You simply go through things in life that stress you out. You deal with life stress, life stress, as we all do, right? But for you, this is when anxiety comes in for me. I explained this in my past uh, two videos where I discussed depression and anxiety. For me, I overthink. So that already, overthinking already caused stress. And as I continue, all day I'll beat myself up in my, in my head, right? This is when I'm letting my anxiety get the best of me. All day I'm beating myself up. Did I make the right decision? Did I do this? Am I okay with this? Oh my God, these people are looking at me. I mean, it's it's wild. <laughs> it's wild. Y'all need to know that, all right? But I hold it down mostly when I'm in the outside world. 
I really have uh, breakdowns in the outside world. You know, I may be having a panic attack and you don't even know because I'm standing there and I'm just like, but I'm actually having a panic attack. Um, I don't wanna get too, too, too lost in this video. I just, those in the world that are dealing with any kind of mental illness, I just need you to know that you're not alone. I may not have bipolar schizophrenic, but I do deal with a very, uh, 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 a, a very much amount of anxiety in my life. And for a while, I didn't know, I didn't know it was anxiety. For a while, I thought I thought I had bipolar schizophrenic, just like my mother and my sisters. But the reality is, is I don't. I don't, you know, and I'm grateful for that. But that doesn't exclude me from the group. I deal with anxiety every day of my life. My family never, never really understood me. You know, I would lock myself in my room for days, times. I'll only come out to use the bathroom and eat. And my family would just say, are you okay? And I, I was perfectly fine, I thought. But I wasn't perfectly fine. I needed to be in the outside world with people, enjoying my friends, going out, this, not secluding myself. For what? For what? But see, I beat myself up a lot when I was younger because I didn't understand. I thought that I was sick, fucked up, okay? I thought I needed medication. But the reality of it is, is cancer is not the number one killer. HIV is not the number one killer. AIDS, obesity, none of these things are the, are the, are the number one killer in the world. I'm going to tell you what's the number one killer in this life. It's stress. It's stress. My babies, one thing we all have to learn is stress does not change the outcome. Worrying does not change the outcome. But accepting things as they are takes the stress and the worry right off your shoulders, right out your mind. Accept it. Accept where you are right now. Stop stressing. Stop worrying over family, friends, um, a job, a career move um drama stop negativity don't let it stress you out don't let it worry you okay therefore we can have less stress in our lives therefore the diseases that we already have will not kill us because of the stress the disease doesn't kill you the stress of what you're dealing with will kill you so Let me just use an example. Just yesterday, we lost, we lost Miss Kay Spade, 55 years old. And only her family knew she was dealing with a mental illness. She would self-medicate uh, with alcohol. No one knew this. We found this out on the day that she decided to end her life. If only we bring these topics that are in the back, in the back street, to the front let's discuss them there are people out here that are sick that are hurting that are going through things and they just want to know that wow my people too are going through these well i'm gonna be that voice my babies mental illness is not something that we need to judge one another it is not something where we need to judge people because people are on medicine people are dealing with these mental illnesses no they are your brothers and your sisters they're human just like you. They be bleed blood just like you. So no, they're not different. Actually, they're special. I believe the, the sick people in this world, the mental, um, the hurting, the underrated and the, over, and the underlooked, we're the special ones. See, because if only people took the time to hear what we have to say, to hear, to, to hear and feel and see what we have to offer, it's actually a lot. It's actually a lot. We have this brain that's constantly, constantly thinking of things, constantly 
uh, trying to come up with solutions uh, to problems, you know. I hope I made some point in this video. I'm going to keep it here at 15 minutes. Um, maybe I'll make a part two. Um, but yeah, this video is basically to let you all know what do I feel about mental... Um, what do I feel about mental illness? So yeah, that's my opinion. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching, my babies, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace and love.